Welcome to Everyday Physics Conversation. Today we're going to go over physics exam number 18B. I have two students, one from uh, I believe Brown and one from NYU. I'm going to be majoring in math and physics at NYU. Hello folks, my name is Rifat Bari. I'm a Brown Masters in Physics student. The box is moving on steel with constant velocity. You're pulling it with a hundred newton to force northeast at a 30 degree angle with respect to the horizontal. The mass is closest to... So copper on the steel, would you be able to tell me, Miyuke? Mm -hmm. mm, um, 0.36. Okay. What is the uh, SI unit? Uh, for UK? Yes. No, there is no good, unit. very good. That was a trick question. Uh, FA is 100 Newton, is that right? Yes. And this is 30 degrees. So would you be able to, Isaac, tell me what is FAX? I'm pretty sure it would be 53 or 86.6. 86.6 Newton. Uh, Raf, can you? Uh -huh. Do you be able to tell me FF? 86.6. Why is that? Because constant velocity. Acceleration is zero. All right. Um, Isaac, would you be able to tell me FY? Uh, 50. Raf, would you be able to tell me FN uh, in the fraction form? 86.6 over 0.36. Just 240. 0.5. Huh. So 241. That's pretty big. Uh, Isaac, would you be able to tell me the weight of the box? 291 newtons. Raph, would you be able to tell me the mass of the box? 29.69. Yeah. You mean 30? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. The mass of the box is 30 kilogram. Okay. Yeah. Wait a second. This is pretty much the exact same that problem as true. last time. That but is the true. bullet's mass has been That's tenth. right. So what, uh, what did you discover yesterday? If mass go down... Then velocity then, goes up. Uh, but yesterday the velocity with mass one zero point zero five kilogram. The velocity uh, one was two nine four meter per second. Today, the mass one is uh, zero point zero zero five kilogram. So velocity would be much higher, at least one. Probably ten times as big. Probably ten times as big. So it's, this is three hundred. Let's say this is three hundred. Mm -hmm. This should be three thousand. Yeah. Okay. So. Or oh, oh, close to that. Okay, so what happened? Your bullet mass one is 0 0.005 kilogram. Velocity one we don't know. There is something waiting to bite the bullet, and that is mass two is uh, 1.7 kilogram. Right. This is before. What you have after is. Uh, when the mass by the bullet. However, when mass by the bullet, since mass is hanging on it, string, a string, the mass what happened? Swing back and forth. You know, make, so the immediate kinetic energy gets converted to potential energy. Potential energy, energy due, to due to height, which being more than zero. Okay, so what happened? We're gonna first do potential kinetic energy on the location one is equal to potential energy at location 2. So half mv squared is equal to velocity is 2gh square root. So velocity is 2, 9.8, 3.6. So velocity is 8.4 meter per second. Right, good. Now what are you going to do? Conservation of momentum. Uh, momentum before is equal to momentum after. So this is we are using before and after. Um, okay, so what is it? M1 V1 plus M2 V2 is equal to M1 V1 plus M2 V2. Uh, At prime. Also, prime. M1 and M2, because M2 is embedded in M1, uh, their their velocities are going to be the same. Okay, what else uh, we, I have to change? There is no V2. There is no M1 V2. M1 V1 gets set to 0. Okay, so M1 is 0 0.005 times V1 is, we are trying to find, is equal to this. So 8.4. So 0 0.005 V1 is equal to 8.4, 5. So V1, our prediction was at least how many times bigger? 10 times. 10 times bigger. So would that be a 10 times bigger? 8.4 
times 1.705 divided by 0 0.005. Is that 10 times bigger? 2864. 2864. Almost. It is almost 10 times bigger. Can you actually multiply 294 with 0? So, yeah, almost. Yeah, almost. Okay, good. So, this is, in fact, you can you can say this is 2900, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so a meter per second. All right, so what happens if you decrease mass by 10 times? Your velocity increase by 10 times. Oh my god, this is a big discovery. Uh, I don't know. That's really awesome. Alright, Isaac, problem number three. Alright, let's see. A 196 Newton box is pulled up a 15 meter long incline by constant force of 134 Newton. The vertical height gained by the box is 10 meters. What is the work done by friction? Uh, so also, I find that often uh, you don't mention that uh, the applied force is parallel to the incline. You might want to clarify that. Okay. So this is 10 meter. This is how how much? The 15, I believe. 15. 15 meter and this is 134. What do we need to find? What done by? Friction. Friction. Okay. Few things. Can you tell me the weight? Uh, 196. Can you tell me the mass? Mm, 220. Uh, would you be able to tell me uh, telemetry on the top? MGH. MGH. What is M? 20 G is 9.8 and H is? 10. 10. So 1960 10. joules. Uh, 1960? Yeah. 1960 joules. Okay, good. What is the work done by applied force? FD. What type of F? Uh, cosine theta, but F theta is zero. A. So, A is 134 mm -hmm. and D is? 15. 15 and cosine zero. So, work done by applied force is how much? 2010. 2010. Um, that's it, Joule. What well, do you need to know? Like work 50 done joules is lost to friction. Work done by friction is equal to? Work done work by? Divide minus the final potential. So how much is that? 50 joules. 50 joules. Uh, 50 joules, right? Is that what you're trying to find? Yes. yes. All right, that's it? That's the final answer? Yep, number one. Yeah. Okay. All right, that takes us to problem number four. Brown, can you read four? Wow, we're making progress, quick. A uh, spring with a spring constant of 2,000 newtons per meter is compressed 0 0.4 meters from its rest position. The spring is released, pro uh, propelling a 5 kilogram block along a horizontal frictionless surface. This block then collides with a stationary 4 kilogram block. The blocks remain joined and move together. Find their speed. This is before and after. They join together, right? 5 and 4, right? Is that right? Mm -hmm. What would be the velocity of them? Okay, so what is the K? Uh, 2000. Is that right? Well, it's not the kinetic energy yet. It's still potential because it's uh -huh. stored in the spring. That's right. Oh, so see, that's K for spring. Color. Potential energy of the spring is equal to kinetic energy of the? Uh, the block after. Block. Okay, after, after, okay. So then, because this block is going to hit this one like a bullet, so half Kx squared is equal to? Uh, half mv squared. Half mv squared, right. So, uh, half k is 2000, x is okay, 0 0.16, so you have 1000, you have so 160 is equal to half mv squared, so 320 is equal to mv squared, so m is, m five, is 5, so that gives so us 64, v squared. Mm -hmm. so v squared, v is 8, eight meter per second. Is that what you're trying to find? Yes, no. but... No. This is, okay, now this we one, need conservation yeah. of momentum. So M1 is uh, how much? 5. 5. And B1 is? 8. eight. So the total momentum is 40 before. Okay. So momentum before is equal to momentum? After. M1 V1 plus M2 V2 is equal to M1 V1 plus M2 V2. What I need to fix? Uh, first of all, those two are combined because they okay. stick together. And secondly, uh, M2 V2 had no velocity or no momentum. Okay, so what uh, is so this suggestion? 5, 40 8, equals equal to B prime, 9. nine. So, so B prime is equal to 
Is that one of the answer choice? Uh, Can you read problem number five? An electron is being placed between two electrically charged plates. The electron accelerates towards the upper plate. The electric field between the plates is 4.8 times 10 to the minus 11 newtons per coulomb. The acceleration that right. the electron is closest to. Okay, can you tell me what what type of plate is this one, plus or minus? Negative. What about this one? Positive. And what do you say about electric field? It goes from positive to negative. How much? Um, 4.8 times 10 to the minus 11 newtons per coulomb. Okay, so what do you need to find? Acceleration? Mm -hmm. uh, so, no. let's say this experiment was carried in this space, so F is equal to MA. Of, of course, uh, all type of F are same in some way, I don't know. I don't think you have to cover that. Just okay, so, yeah. so F is equal to MA. Uh, because uh, Newton's second law. So M is how much? Not A. A is F E over M. M. So E Q over uh, M. M. What is E? E is the one that we were given. Four point eight times ten minus eleven. Four point eight times ten is two. Minus eleven. Uh, Q is one point six times ten is two. Minus nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, divide by mass of the electron is 9, 10, 11. 9 times 10 raised to negative 31 and that is what we are looking for acceleration how much is that about 8.4 i think 8.4 meter per second squared any question on this one nope not really all right problem number six um Brown, can you read it a force of 30 newtons towards the right is exerted on a wooden crate moving to the right on a horizontal wooden floor the crate weighs 19.6 newtons. Find the acceleration. So wood and wood, right? Mm -hmm. They ask you to find the acceleration? Yeah. Alright, so FF. What is FF? Uh, by the way, uh, what is the weight of the box? 19.6. 19.6 newtons. What is the mass of the box? Uh, 2. 2 kilogram. So what is FF? Uh, mu FN. Okay, mu so FN. And mu is what is FN? Uh, 19.6 So, uh, 0.3 uh -huh. 19.6, how much is that? 5.8 5.8? 5.8 Newton uh, Alright, so 5.8 Newton so You might want to check out that diagram Net force is how much? Net force is how much? 24.12 Okay, no, not to, oh yeah, 24 Okay so net force is okay. Net force of our mass is acceleration. Mm -hmm. So twenty four over two. Twenty four over um, two. How much is that? Uh, twelve. Twelve. Um, I mean, uh, twenty four over two. Okay, so twelve. Twelve what meter per mm -hmm. second is square. Yes. Um, is that right? Okay. Problem number seven. Isaac, can you? I know you. Can you read it? All right, an electric field of 900 newtons per coulomb uh, is exerted by a source charge of 10 coulombs x meters away from, wait. Are you reading 10b? Is this 10b? 18b? Yeah. Okay. Uh, x meters away from a test charge. Uh, Positive or negative? Which is negative with a charge of minus 1 microcoulombs. Okay, 1 microcoulombs. Okay, and this is 10 yeah. coulombs. Right? Uh huh. Yeah. So, uh, what do you, what do we need to find? Uh, the, the direction. direction of the okay, force. so the direction is Isaac. What is the direction that of the force? That doesn't seem too hard. Shouldn't it be that way? Instead of that way, can you say east, west, south, and north? Uh, never east. West. Be west. So west. Instead of west, can you say it in the degree? On uh, minus one eighty. One eighty degree. Can you prove that in math? My math. <coughs> okay, I Force think... is equal to EQ. Is this outside the scope of the question? No, E is how much? E is... Positive or negative? 900... Positive or negative? E is positive or negative? It's positive. Good. Q is positive or negative? negative. And that means? Negative. Negative. So F is to the? West. West. Okay, all right, that was problem number seven, eight. We are almost done. Uh, Brown, can you read eight? Yeah. Use the diagram to the right to find 
F1 on Q3. F1 on Q3. So remind me Q3. 1 microcoulomb is Q3. Mm -hmm. Q1 uh, is 5 microcoulombs and Q2 is negative 9 microcoulombs. 5 microcoulomb and negative? 9. Uh, minus 9. Minus 9 microcoulomb. What do you need to find? Force here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you need the distances too. Okay. So that one is 3 root 3, that one is 3, and that one is 6. Yeah. Uh, we probably don't need anything because we, we need to find just we need to find F, F right? Yeah. So F one. F F uh, three due to one. K Q three Q one over R square. So nine times ten is to nine. Q three is how much? Uh, one times ten is to negative six. Q one is how much? Five times ten is to negative six and nine. Nine then cancel. You have five times ten is to Negative three. three, so five. Uh, point zero zero five. Point zero zero five watt newton. Yeah. All right, that's it. And direction. Can you tell me the direction of F one? Straight upwards. Uh, F thirty one. So north. this is F thirty one, and that is um, point zero zero point zero zero five oh. newton. That was not hard. Number nine. Um, I would like to ask, how did you manage to choose the number four zero eight thousand two thirty three? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a strange process. Number nine. The mass doesn't matter. Number it nine. Doesn't. Number nine. Yeah, okay. No, mass. I choose it because that's the mass of the ISS. Oh really? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, and I guess we chose the distance that way too. Yeah, the ISS is four hundred, four hundred kilometers. Yeah, but of course the mass doesn't matter because we're just trying to find. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It, it, it gives you it gives you destruction. All right, so Isaac, Isaac is here on, on, on uh, right here, right I here. I don't so. think I weigh 408,233 kilograms. If you go to McDonald's, you do. Dad. Uh, uh, okay, we eat McDonald's every day. We should not put it down. Okay, all right, that's true. Okay, so now the radius over here, what is Isaac acceleration due to gravity? 9.8. Uh, that's right. Is this 9.8 to you? Yeah. Good. We already know that. No Good. need to waste time. That's right. If Isaac is right now, uh, not only one at, not only... Well, it's point zero five eight. Oh, point zero five eight. Yeah, oh, not okay. that far. Okay, so this is, uh, this is one at, this is less than one at, point zero five eight. I think it's because, like, the ISS is geosynchronous or something. I don't know. Oh, ISS is definitely not one at above the, above the, that would be, like, too much. Right? One at is... 1 R is 6.37 times 10 raised to 6. N NASA doesn't million. have that budget. Oh, shit. Okay, and also... What happened in the days of Voyager 1 and 2? Okay, so now, what are you going to do? So, G is G M uh, over... Uh, G M over what? 1 plus point, point zero five eight. Yeah, 1... 0.058 squared. Zero five eight R is squared. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you can factor out the 1 over 1.058. G M... Over what? R squared? No, no, I mean, Wait. tell me everything. Uh, you can factor out this. Okay, I got it. Uh, 8.75. So G is, uh, 8 point? So oh, no, 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 no. G no, is how much? No. Can you give me 1.058 squared? Uh, that's, uh, 1.058. 1.058. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1.12 mm -hmm. R square. So G M over R square is how much? 9.8. So 9.8, that's it? Uh, over 1. 1. 1. How much is that? 8.75. 8.75. And this is, we are talking about ISS. Meters per second. ISS. If you are made of uh, Newton over kilogram. So uh, you would feel like a slight difference there, right? Yes, yeah, you're not going to notice. Uh, you so would, I'm sure. Probably you do. Uh, for other reason, not because of the low gravity. ISS, uh, so ISS experience, people in ISS experience, just like us. Mm. Not much differences. Okay. Wow, this is a weird airplane. Uh, and this is, ISS is how many kilometers above the Earth? There's not that much. Four. Point, 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 okay, how many kilometers? You, you can figure it out, right? Mm -hmm. So these times this what? This is point zero five eight. Point zero five eight. Six three seven zero times point zero five eight. So it's like th how many meters? Three hundred sixty nine thousand meters. Yeah, uh, three hundred. So it's three sixty nine kilometers. 
Ja, dat is 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 That is 400 kilometers here to Canada is 400 kilometers. Yeah, you. So can you I put? I was about to say none of us have driven that far, but then I realized so I was too. So can you put Niagara Falls like, like this? Then that idea. That idea. Millions yeah. of people would die. Yeah. Number 10. Alright, for the. Yeah. Number 10. Use the diagram on the right to find the electric uh, field exerted by charge one on charge three. Charge one. Which one? The three. Um, this, the top charge three, the top one. Minus, How much is this one? Minus four Q. Four Q and this one? Q. Q one. I don't Q, think Q two really Q2 matters. Q two is okay. It doesn't matter. It's what Q is the distance? Hundred. Four hundred centimeter, right? Is it correct? No, hundred right? meters. Hundred meters. Okay. I don't know wow. why they chose to do that. Hundred meter. Okay. All right. So oh, and Q is one fifty nanocoulombs. Uh, Q know. is one fifty nanocoulombs. What do we want to find? Uh, e1. e1 at Q3. Yeah. All right, so E1 at Q3 is K. Uh, you want to just write KQ over R squared. Right? KQ over R squared. Uh, make sure you write Q1. So 9 times 10 is to what? 9. Uh, make sure you write BQ1. Okay. No, no, no. 9. Q1 is not Q. Q1 is 150. 150 times, times 10 is to negative 9. 9. And this is not 100. This is uh, 100,000. No, one ten thousand. Ten thousand. All right. So that's ten so, to the four. So you have nine times ten what? raised to nine times one point five times ten raised to nine eight seven. I think a better approach would be to cancel out. Minus one two three four. Uh, it's point one three five newtons per second. So you have nine times one one point five is how much? Uh, uh, one point. It's one. Nine times one point five. Thirteen point five. Thirteen point five times. 10 raised to 9 minus 2. Negative? 2. 2. So it's 1.35 times 10 to the minus 1 or 0.135? 0 0.135? Yeah. What would be? Newton's per coulomb. Newton's per coulomb. That's surprisingly large for such a long distance and such small charges. So what would be the direction? Uh, northeast. Northeast, yeah. right? E1. And how much? 0.135. Five. Five we finished. Oh, no. All right, so we finished. Uh, 